Hello and welcome to the PGA Tour opener for the season. I'm Luke Elby, joined alongside, as always, John McCarthy. And John, always love the first event, particularly for a rookie. Their excitement and anticipation is magnified. And I guess like there's got to be an immense amount of work that goes into this uh, just to get them to this level. What kind of extra skills do they need to, to play at this kind of high level with this incredible field that they have here today? Well, of course, the depth of talent gets even greater. We're against the world's best right here. But the one thing that they need to maintain is what they did to get here is what they need to continue. No point changing the plan now that you've made it to the big stage. Right. If you're good enough to be a PGA Tour pro, well, that's what got you here. Keep it going. Just improve your, uh, your weaknesses and play to your strengths. And just kind of, yeah, and just keep that trust. Trust your game and kind of go with that flow and try to write that out. Absolutely. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself and think about all the big money on offer and what could happen if you win. It's just stick to the processes and let the outcomes take care of themselves. Great. Well, that's a, a great way to kick this, uh, this event off. And let's check back in after nine holes and we'll see uh, how this golfer's faring down. How's that sound? Looking forward to seeing the action. Pretty sure that's the five wood. Thirty three feet to the cup from here. And for the par. And the putt will drop. And starting the round off with a par, not bad. And now let's see what this second hole has in store. This is looking fairway bound. From 140 yards out. Going with the nine iron. Well, that's no good uh, as far as approaches go. And this putt is needed to save par. And folks, this could be the one. And that putt will drop for par. And after that hole, he will remain at even par. And now let's move to the third hole.
And this one's definitely heading towards the green. And this for the birdie. And a nice putt there. And after that hole, one under for the day. All right, here's the fourth hole. And a promising looking shot here. And from 165 yards out. And looks like a six iron. Well, that was unfortunate. And just not enough club on that one. And he's probably going to like that. And this one's about four feet from the cup. And after that one, he's still tied for the top. Team off on this par four. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. And here's the six iron. And I think this shot might uh, might have a bit too much club. Well, I think he's going to like that. 22 feet to the cup. Inches, inches away. And tapping it in for the par. And unfortunately, he falls out of first after that one. And moving on to the sixth here. wrong with that shot. And this putt's for birdie. And that one will drop. And now he finds himself tied for first. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store.
Oh, I think this one's going to find the short grass. Thirteen feet to go here. Ooh, and it just, just misses. This putt's about a two-footer. And two under for the day after that one. And now teeing off on the par five. This one's looking pretty good so far. Okay, about 140 yards to go. Going with the nine iron here. And that's a pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par five green in two definite eagle possibilities. And this is for birdie. And we're finishing this one with a good putt. And as we check the standings, he's still holding down first place after that one. And on to the ninth hole. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. And from 135 away. Here's a nine iron and heading for the green. And with that, he's on the green. And this for the birdie. Yeah, that one's uh, right in the cup. And as he finishes up his front nine, uh, Luke, he's found himself in a pretty good place to be. Well, it's always great having the lead, John, but this player doesn't want to switch off because there's going to be a bunch of players wanting to come at them if they're trying to win the championship. Thanks, Luke. Now let's get back to it. I think that's a five iron. 
unfortunately, he's gone into the water on this one. And about 170 yards to the pin. It looks like the uh, hybrid is on display here. Looks like this is going a bit long. And a bit of a poor approach shot there. Just too much club. All right, from 24 feet out. Just missing here. And hopefully this one will go for the triple. And finishing this hole out with a solid putt. And after that hole moving out of the top spot and down into second place. And he's probably not gonna like that. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. From here, 190 yards to the pin. That looks like the hybrid. Ah, poor luck on that approach shot. And it's kind of odd, his greens in regulation percentage uh, so far this round has been pretty good. This one's about two feet from the cup. And after that hole, staying fast in the second place on the leaderboard. And now teeing off on the par five. And he can't be very pleased with himself after that. And that is some fantastic club work on this par five green, hitting it in two. And about four feet from the cup. for the birdie. And they will stay in second place after that hole. And now the 13th hole. Oh, 
Alves is definitely heading towards the green. And he's on the green. And this putt is for birdie. Oh, that was that was very close. And this putt is for par. And after that hole, staying right there in second place. And now teeing off on this par four. Well, so far so good for this one. And about 175 yards to the pin. And he'll be happy with that. And this putt is for birdie. Setting up for the 37 foot putt. And this putt is for the bogey. Oh my lands, that was uh, that was very close. And this for the double bogey. And after that hole, he will go up to even par. And is currently tied for second place on the leaderboard. And moving on to the 15th here. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. Ooh, looks like he's going through the branches here. And this putt to save par. Oh my goodness. This looks like around a four footer, I'd say. And that one drops for the bogey. And after that hole, one over for the day. And he's also tied for seventh place up on the leaderboard.
And now setting up for the next par four hole. Well, this one's looking like it's finding the fairway. It looks like a seven iron. And I think he will be pleased with that. From here, about 21 feet. Ooh, unfortunate. And for the par. And that one will drop. And plus one on the day after that hole. And he's also tied for fifth up on the leaderboard. And setting up for the par five hole. From here, about 225 to the pin. Going with the three wood. And that shot will be on the green with a fairly lengthy putt ahead. And just missing. And this putt's right around two feet. And that hole is going to bring him down to even par. And he's tied for second place on the leaderboard. And as he tees off here on the 18th hole, he is only two strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. And uh, 110 yards or so to the pin. Going with a pitching wedge here. And pitching wedge proving to be a bit too much here. And unfortunately, he's ended up in the water. Uh, just waiting to see if he'll re-hit or take the drop. And about 110 yards to the pin from here.
and this next putt for a final round score of 73. Oh, and uh, just doesn't want to drop. And this putt is for double bogey. And with that comes the end of this event and a top 10 finish for him. That's right, John. A top 10 finishes, not bad at all. And they're going to be gunning for the win the next time they play. I'm sure of that. On behalf